okay so um i let me be quick i want to show you how to work with your list so this is very important i don't know some people might not know how to do their work with their list in this kind of way because some might be using hammer or stronger tools to break their beads and uh, whenever you break your beads you always observe that some of your strongest beads will tear your lace fabric and it will look messy at the end of everything so there is a perfect way to go about that for your fabric not to get messy and what i normally use is uh, sometimes i use scissors but the best tool to use to cut off your beads uh, is your cutter so this tool is very necessary and it's very important when it comes to cutting off your beads for your for your fabric so what I normally do is I get the point of where I want to sew. So I have one inch for my sewing allowance for this my lace, which I'm making now. I have one inch for sewing allowance and I have half inch at this top part. So what I'm going to do now is to use this cutter now to cut off that one inch which I need. You can cut more than one inch, which is like 1.5. One and a half so you can go ahead to cut one and a half but i prefer cutting one inch so that when sewing as well you also work you can see what i'm doing so when sewing as well you also work with your cutter so if you go ahead to cut more than one and a half inch some parts where you sew you will see some empty spaces and it won't be nice so you need your beads to be aligned with what you're sewing because after you cut off all your beads you are going to place it on your fabric where you are going to stick your lace to your fabric before you sew so there, there is a point sometimes you stick it to your fabric and there are some excesses on the lace part and you are going to trim that off so what i normally work with is this because this works with me if i want to sew this is beside me so whenever i sew to a point where there is stones i use this to cut it off it is very easier to use because it is small than using your big scissors so it will be difficult and this makes it easy so what i'm going to do now is to cut it around my one inch i'm going to cut my one inch just like you can see it is very easy to use this to use your cutter so in case you don't have go and get this it is very easy to use to work with and it is far more better than breaking your stones with your heavy tools far more easier and reliable so i will go ahead now to cut off all my sides as i have already started i've almost forgot because i have already done the back part and this is the front i almost forgot i have even started up to this point i had to stop to come back to show you guys on how to go because this might be helpful to somebody so let me go ahead to finish it then i'll come back to show you how to attach your lace fabric to your um, other layer that will cover this um, seat through so what i normally use is crepe so until i get to that point i'll tell you what to do next thin out all my beads i'm gonna have to trim them out and there's another important thing for you to do while you trim your beads that is why it is very important you don't hit your stones because there are some stones like I, you can see now these are my beads which i which i got after losing it from the main fabric so these are the remaining beads which i have here so i just want to show you with these beads because there are some fabrics you can't find their beads in the market so if you go ahead now to break your beads with your stone, I will you be able to get your beads back because you might decide to replace some parts with your beads. So it is very important you don't break it. So you will be able to have some leftover that you can use to fill up some parts. And they are like this kind of beads, you can easily find it in the market. So you can decide not to save your beads. I just want to use this as an example for you to understand. And I don't use... Um, I don't use satin fabric for my lace. I don't use satin fabric for my lace. I use crepe. So it is better to use crepe. For me, I prefer using crepe because crepes, crepe works with lace. Because lace is stretchy, like you can see now. It is net. And white crepe as well stretches. But if you are using satin, it is stiff. 
So even if your skirt is a little bit tight, the crepe will work with the lace hands in hand English. It will work with the lace. So when you wear it, it will fit very well. So I will advise you use lace. Well, it depends on how your client is paying though. So I'm going to do the same thing for my well, this is my back. This is my front. I'm going to do the same thing for my back. And another thing is the placement of your lace. You must make sure you study the design of your lace before placing. As you can see now, this is my designer sits at the center of my skirt. So here is the center front. Here is the front. So you can see how the design looks like. It sits very well. Not cutting your lace where the design will sit at the corner. It will not give you that nice fitting. You get so there is another way you can still place your lace. You can still place it since it has this other part at this side. You can still place your lace while hair come like this. This other part too, it should be at the same level like this. I'm just trying to show you how to place your lace so it has a unified background, not one side being at this side and this side being there. It will not look straight so to, for you to get that accuracy you need to place it in a nice uniformed way so it looks good and nice and after getting that i normally like using rugum because this works very 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 well because it comes out from the mouth and it sticks to your fabric very well so you can decide to use b6000 or e6000 it depends on what works for you but I love using hugum. Hugum, I use hugum. I love using this gum. So it works with me perfectly. So I'm going to use this now. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to raise my skirt like this. My sorry, my list like this. And I'm going to put my hugum down here and down there. And for my crepe fabric, what I did is to get equal length for my main, because if you use your crepe or your satin to cut out your lace so you get the main measurements for your the main measurement for your for your down part you use it to cut your lace then you go ahead to fold it inside so for my own after placing it i still added one inch after placing the equal part of my skirt to the lace i still added one inch which means the lace is longer than my main fabric by one inch yeah, after folding i have a total of two inches at this down part that is showing so you can use your equal length it will still work you can use one inch extra it will still work so it depends on what you are making so what i'm doing now is a um, straight pencil gown so you can decide to do flay if you wish or this in with time i will show you guys on how to do that but i don't know yet i do work with time so i will be just i will just be showing you guys um hacks and ideas from now on how to go with your sewing skills so that's what i'll be showing you guys because creating other much um like bigger content takes time and energy so i don't know when i will be dropping those ones as i normally do but i will try my best so this is all i want to show you i hope you have learned if you have learned something new from what i just make sure you give the video a like then you share with your friends to also learn one or two things from this video. So thank you very much. Stay safe and remember less.